So we're here in Castle Martyr today and we're delighted in a beautiful sunny day um, to be able to get out, back out to, to the businesses, to the shops and buy things that we haven't been able to get, that we haven't been able to buy. Just getting dressed up and be glad to be out of the house at last. So have your hair done, the hairdressers are open here now, maybe a bit of makeup and things that, that we need. So yes, it's, it's an it's exciting time, it's an exciting day today for everybody. This is my first day out and do I feel good. I was so nervous starting off this morning. I would like to see the shops be more welcoming to older people. Now that they're all open again, like uh, uh, they want to be aware that the older shopper is back in and uh, maybe seats and things that had to be removed maybe during COVID, so they'll put them back in there. A chair is required here and there in the shops because older people just might have to sit down. A lot of the chairs haven't got arms on them. Therefore, there's a huge difference to the dignity of an older person, to getting up yourself by putting your hands on the arms, to asking somebody for help. My local supermarket has an age-friendly parking sign up in their supermarket and it brings you closer to where you need to be like and uh, you know it's really just they're small things but they're so important to older people maybe uh, who are not as mobile as they were maybe 20 years ago like you know and uh, I just turned 80 so I need a little bit of help. <laughs> an older person will always need help because a we might have forgotten our glasses. And B, we mightn't be able to see it anyway, see the price or the size. You know, if an assistant is standing at the counter and not approaching, they've lost a sale and I've lost a garment that I liked. And just putting it aside because I couldn't read the label. Sometimes you go to a, a shop like, and. Uh, you have to buy maybe a very big piece of meat and you just don't want that size of meat. And uh, uh, um, supermarkets and shops want to be aware of that and make it just use for one person and divide it up for my freezer if necessary. It can be very awkward for the older person to come back out right now. They haven't been out maybe for a year. Um, and you, there's so much you can do to make them welcome in, into your business. Uh, I know that some of the business they have um, coffee and seating areas outside, maybe offer them a cup of coffee if it's their first time in and make them welcome and feel relaxed about coming back out into the community. Wider aisles, you know, if a person on a scooter or um, wheelchair has somebody with them, that the person is not behind them all the time. And uh, just for shopping to be an enjoyable experience for everybody. If our shops are age friendly, it's not just age friendly for the older person, it's age friendly for everybody and they can enjoy the experience and feel more comfortable and come out more often. Maybe when an older person goes to a checkout and I sometimes like that myself, uh, you're a bit slow maybe getting your stuff onto the, onto the belt and you're a bit slow taking out your cards and everything and there's someone beside you. Will you, will you ever move? <laughs> you know, get on with it. And uh, maybe some of the supermarkets might say, hmm, maybe we'll allocate that a, a little till there maybe for older people because there'll be enough of them in the shop. These are small things. They're not big asks. But what a difference they would make to somebody like me. Uh, if I see companies and uh, our supermarkets uh, being age friendly and that, uh, that's where I'm going to go. So we have all the older people coming back out into our communities. So my message to the businesses is this is the first time you can think of them uh, in a different way to maybe you've thought of them before. Be age friendly and think of the age friendly different things that you can do for your business to welcome them back in going forward.